As Danny O'Neill goes, so goes Oregon. It's been that way for four years. He's set school passing records and guided the Ducks to a bowl appearance. Oregon's clearly at its best when O'Neill's playing well. Along the way, he's also struggled through some low points. But win or lose, after every game, O'Neill stands up to another blitz from the media, sharing the glory and victory and taking the blame in defeat. For me, that's how I want it to be. I, I don't want uh, people trying to blame the receiver, trying to blame the offensive line. In essence, I feel like I'm the leader. It's my offense. I'd rather just take the responsibility. O'Neill attributes his resilience to his Christian faith. He's part of a weekly team Bible study and gathers members of both squads at midfield for a post-game prayer every week. Uh, Father, once again, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord. Uh... A Christian lifestyle and a locker room environment can pull O'Neill in different directions. How I take that environment and how it affects me is up to me. And uh, I, I think it, it is difficult and it does kind of wear and tear a little bit maybe on my relationship with God, but it's... Um, it all ends up being a positive because of the influence that God's given me through football. He's shown another side of himself recently, running the ball more, and even becoming a receiver last week. And I knew Kristen was coming to me because I knew they'd cover that pass when they already got beat on it. So uh, uh, that ball came in the air and I was just hoping to catch it. And that's about all I was thinking, just catch it. But it was actually, it was a lot of fun having Kristen throw me the ball after, you know, obviously throwing to him a lot of times. In his final season, O'Neill's within reach of the school's all-time passing record. Instead, he found himself trying to do too much and in turn not doing well enough. He says that's about to change. You know, that's kind of my main goal right now is just understand I need to, I need to pick up my performance. I don't care what's going on around me. Uh, I don't care, um, you know, how other people are performing or how the, you know, the defense is doing, how the coaches are coaching. I just need to be concerned with myself uh, and not in a selfish aspect, but understand I can't look towards other people to find fault, but I've got to look to myself and see how I can be better. Danny O'Neill is not the straw that stirs the Ducks' drink, but he can determine if the taste will be sweet. For the Rich Brooks Show, I'm Pat McGilvery.